The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency and DLEA says over 14 million Nigerians are using illicit substances. Neuropharmacologists say substance abuse impacts negatively on the human brain. By implication, a lot of Nigerians using illicit substances may be mentally unstable. So we must ensure that the youth are protected. You know, we are not allowed to initiate the use of some of these substances. You know, we use the already that we have been co-opted into it. We should ensure that they are treated. The commandant told us here today, narcotics, that even those who have started using these drugs, they can be treated. So I think we need to also put a lot of emphasis on research in this area, our universities and institutes, you know, how to treat some of these substances. And I'm happy that I hear a presentation by a traditional medical practitioner that probably they have something they can give also. Besides damaging the human brain, substance abuse triggers complications in pregnant women and newborns, which health experts say could affect children's learning ability. After the delivery, the baby will now suffer, uh, may now suffer withdrawal symptoms. And this withdrawal symptoms is because the baby is already used to all the drugs inside the mother's womb. So immediately after delivery, the, that exposure is not there again. So this baby will now develop withdrawal symptoms, seizures, many things that may even make the baby to die again immediately after the delivery. And if that baby didn't still die, the baby may get, uh, the, that child may grow up and enroll in school and be having learning, serious learning difficulties. I realize that the prevalence rates at younger age is rising. And if I can quote the commandant of narcotics, Mr. Okechuku, he said that in the next 30 years, if we did not address this system, we will not have youth. So it means it's better to catch these young children at a very younger age, tell them the effect of drug abuse and its impact on their body system so that they can take the message to their friends. Women and young Nigerians are at risk of imbibing the habit of substance abuse due to peer pressure. I don't like taking drugs. So if, not, if, if the drugs was prescribed by the doctor, I would take. But if not, by, if not, I will not even go near the drugs because it's very dangerous, even paracetamol. Drug abuse may lead to lots of like memory loss, while some leads to brain damage and all of that. So you think that drug, drink, taking in drugs or something like that will help to cure this problem, but you are not realizing that it's creating another problem. To reduce the burden of mental health disorder, experts believe society must win the fight against drug. Ibrahim Ismail, Trust TV News, Gombe.